Welcome again now, dear friends, to the Friday edition of Fresh Bread. It's Friday, June the 2nd, 2023. Hey, I want to remind you that we're going to show the great movie, Indivisible. It's going to be part of our first Friday flicks tonight at Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church. That's 1029 North Kansas Avenue in Noto in North Topeka. Hope you can be there. It's really an excellent movie. Haven't gotten to see the whole thing. I've saw, the, I have seen the trailer and it looks just absolutely wonderful. It's got a bit of a patriotic flair to it. It's a lot about relationships, marriage, and how we are able to honor God in the midst of very trying and difficult situations. So I would invite you to come tonight. It'll start right around seven o'clock. And again, we're looking forward to having you there. Well, let's continue our study on the book of James. We're going to read now from James chapter 3, verses 13 to the end of the chapter in in verse 18. If you are wise and understand God's ways, prove it by living an honorable life, doing good works with the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you are bitterly jealous and there is selfish ambition in your heart, don't cover up the truth with boasting and lying. For jealousy and selfishness are not God's kind of wisdom. Such things are earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. For wherever there is jealousy and selfish ambition, there you will find disorder and every kind of evil. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It's in, it is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. And those who are peacemakers will plant seeds of peace and reap a harvest of righteousness. Well, there's our concluding part of James chapter 3. I think we can wrap that up the next couple of days. So let's try to wrap it up today. Tomorrow we'll just kind of talk about a few things going on at the church. If you're wise, prove it by leaving an honorable life, doing good works with humility that comes from wisdom. This is, again, written not as a way for us to earn our salvation. This is a response to the love and the grace and the mercy and the goodness and the forgiveness that God has shown us through our faith in Christ. We should be living pure lives. We should be aspiring to be holy and realizing it's all going to come from the Holy Spirit. And it's all through Christ that we even have this opportunity. But we want to now live a life. We make those conscious choices that we are living in a way that's going to please the Lord. That's a challenge for me. It's it's always a challenge to separate God out of our secular world, I guess you could say, and our spiritual world. But there should be no separation. We should uh, should be honoring God no matter what we do. So as Colossians says, whether in word or deed, do everything we do to the glory of God. Well, friends, thanks for joining me today on Fresh Bread. Hope to see you back on Saturday for the weekend edition of Fresh Bread. Until then, God bless you. Have a great day.